All right, welcome back. The Indianapolis Zoo is combining two childhood favorites, Halloween and animals, but with an adult twist. Brufari at the zoo is happening this Saturday evening. The fall fundraiser offers adults the chance to leave the kids at home and have some fun. Joining me live this morning is Carla Knapp, a public relations specialist with the zoo. And Carla, thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This is going to be a great event. Let's talk about what guests can expect if they want to come on Saturday. And I mean, it's in the name. I'm guessing guests can expect <laughs> beer. Brew, the, what is it called again? The, the Brufari. Brufari, yeah, you nailed it. Yeah, we have 22 breweries from across central Indiana and cideries. Um, these, these are some of the best breweries in our area. So we've got Scarlet Lane, Big Lug, Metazoa, so many others that are gonna offer sampling all night long for our guests. That's wonderful. We have a lot of great local breweries here. There's also gonna be, what's a pumpkin town and then some after hours access. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, actually I'm standing in Pumpkin Town. We're going to be utilizing this space and really a lot of the zoo to host this event. We've got lots of activities that all have a Halloween theme. We've got a costume contest, psychic readings, entertainment all night long. And you can also uh, enjoy connecting with the animals here at the zoo. We were just looking at some of the pictures here on our screen of what that will look like. That looks like so much fun, but of course, you know, we are dealing here in the pandemic. So what safety precautions will be taken if we're expecting, you know, a lot of guests out there at the zoo on Saturday? Right, yeah, safety is always our top priority here at the zoo. And really the main thing is we're gonna make sure that everything is socially distanced. We're using all of our outdoor space uh, to provide guests with plenty of room to enjoy the event while they're socially distanced. We've got uh, hand sanitizer that's gonna be available throughout the event. And of course, we're also uh, asking guests to please wear a face covering uh, and also do some health checks before you come to the event. But on top of your face covering, please wear your most wild costume for, for our costume contest. Of course, you have to, right? And how much yeah. are the tickets? And do you need to order in advance? How does that work as people start to plan for the weekend? Yeah, good question. So you can go online to indianapoliszoo.com and get your tickets there in advance. They're $60 either online and also available at the door on the night of the event. Perfect, and real quick here, what is all this money going to? Because obviously there is an important cause here as well. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, this event is a very important fundraiser for us here at the Indianapolis Zoo. This has been a very difficult year. Uh, we were closed for three months this summer with the pandemic. And so events like Brufari are so important for us to be able to continue our mission, to support our animals and support conservation across the globe. We have to support the zoo. We have to support those animals. And if you would like more information, just go to fox59.com slash links to get in for more, any you. more information. And Carla, thank you so much for joining us. And Jim, they'll need some good weather on Saturday for the Brufari.